Hi everyone, Kelly is back. Today I have my Ride or Die skincare items for you. I swear by all of these. I've been using all of these for at least three months and some I have used for over a year now and my skin has never been this clear, this good, and this firm and almost flawless and let's just get right into it. I have very um, small skincare collection and all of these are very very affordable they all have like drugstore price tag and I'm really happy to share this with you guys so let's start with um, the cleansing items first the first disclaimer that um, I had some recent breakout it's because um, I have been testing this the ordinary's retinoid 2% um, I'll tell you how I think about this at the end of this video. So let's start. Before we get started, I just want to show you my naked skin close up. I have no makeup except some eyeshadow, mascara, and a lip tint. I have just moisturizer and the oil on my face. So I have oily-ish T-zone and not so dry-ish cheeks, so I am a combination. First things first, um, I use this religiously every single day, twice a day, in the morning and at night. So this is the Innisfree Jeju Volcano Pore Cleansing Foam. Um, this one has like little beads in it and it's like, you know, white, pasty foam that is very thick, very um, potent, and a little bit goes a really long way, so you just use it regularly as you would with any other um, foaming cleanser, and ever since I started using this item, my skin has been so, so, so clean because it takes such a good job at taking out everything that's sitting on top of your skin and inside your pores. So make sure you leather this really, really well and massage for like 30 seconds to a minute and then rinse it out. And I'm somebody who have to regularly exfoliate. Otherwise, I will have a lot of dry patches on my face and my pores will start to like clog, clog up and... It's just not good. So I try to exfoliate at least twice or three times a week. So with this, it's just so simple. It's basically like a physical exfoliant. So every um, after you wash your face with this, you know, in a hot shower or something, you can sort of like rub your face and then this dead skins come off and then you can feel that. I'm not a professional. This is This method might not be for everyone out there, but it works just wonders for me. Um, I do have sensitive skin. I'm not acne prone, but I do have sensitive skin, but not too, too sensitive. Oh, and this is a Korean brand. I will talk about some Korean skincare brand because everybody knows that Korean skincare is just a top notch, so good, and they're so affordable and great. So you can easily find everything that I'm going to talk about on Amazon and the price point is so good. So definitely check that out. And then the next thing I is the organic virgin coconut oil. I use waterproof mascara almost every day and it's so hard to take them off. Even with the best eye makeup remover and all those good cleansing oils. And also, they can get quite pricey and like having to buy them every two to three months is not really a good thing for me so I usually double cleanse if I have heavy makeup on usually in the shower and then I use this after I come out of the shower because while you're in the shower some of them sort of get washed away and then you can just remove glue like subsistence from your lash using a really gentle rub with a little you know a little tiny pea size amount of coconut oil so I really recommend that and coconut oil does wonders for your skin. Um, it can condition your lashes and around your eye area. So that's good. And the next thing is this black sugar scrub by Skin Food. Um, I believe they have two different kinds, but I always get this perfect essential scrub two times kind. And this smells so good. This is not like, this is like my third jar. And it smells like lemon and brown sugar. It smells like one of those fresh skincare items. 
And when my skin needs a rescue day, I use this, preferably in the showers. This is a physical exfoliant, but I believe the sugar and um, lemon inside and the other ingredients inside will also chemically exfoliate. But this is very gentle, and you just rub it on your face, just like a normal face scrub, and then you leave it on. Because while that's sitting on my skin, it moisturizes and exfoliates painfully painlessly and when you come out of the shower your face is like so silky smooth like supple like it's like the most glowy pretty face you can see so definitely check that out and um, keep in mind that everybody's skin's different what works for me might not work for you so yeah and the last cleansing item is this one and it's free um super volcanic clay mousse mask this is like I know you guys are very familiar with clay masks and stuff because they're really famous nowadays. And then this is a mousse thing that you don't have to mix yourself or you cleanse your face. So you just shake it and then pump a little bit. And it just comes out and then when, when you massage it, it's like very moussey and has like tiny, tiny little grainy texture to it and then you just leave it on let it dry and then wash your face and voila your pores cleanse i recommend this for um oily skins though because this can be drying but if you're having very very dirty clogged pore days definitely check that out i always use a toner especially at night before bed because i think nighttime skincare routine is more important because while you're asleep, your skin gets regenerated and it basically gets fed. You know, that's kind of cute. I have two different regimens for skincare, one for the morning and one for the night. And I will talk about the morning one first because the morning one is really, really simple. So after I tone my face, I use the CNP Laboratory, another Korean skincare brand. It's their Mugener Ample Mist. And this is a very fine mist that I use. I just spray all over my face. This is very, very misty and fine. The spray is amazing. And I just use this, let it sit. I sort of like tap, tap it onto my skin. And then when that's absorbed, I use this The Ordinaries Rosehip Oil. Um, I mentioned this in one of my previous videos. This stuff is gold. This stuff is so good at fading hyperpigmentations. Hyperpigmentations like there's no tomorrow. So I let me just check myself in the mirror. I have hyperpigmentations like around here because these are like hormonal breakouts. I occasionally get it. This thing does such a good job at getting rid of it. Like, it's unbelievable. This was like $10. And I always use oil before moisturizer. So it helps your moisturizer adhere to your skin better. And then in the morning, I use this after that. Embryolis La Creme Concentrate. Milk Cream Concentration. Concentrate. Whatever. This thing. This is really famous. This is a cult favorite. I use it. And then I use a sunscreen. And that's it for my um, morning skincare routine. And for the AM, I use this CMP Laboratories Propolis Ample Mist. This is for glossy and, reju glossy and rejuvenated skin, while the morning one is soothing and moisturizing. I do feel like this is slightly more moisturizing in a way that is more nutrient to your skin, if, you, if that makes sense. If this is more like pure hydration, this is like added benefits. After this mist, I use this 23 years old Batacacil 3-in-1 solution, speedy um, solution, worries about skin, that's what it says. And this is... I believe this one has glycolic acid 4% and betaine salicylate 2%. This is so good. If you have like acne going on, I don't have cystic acne, um, but I do get some little ones. And this one's just so good at taking up 
like the the dead layer of your skin if you know what I mean it just really accelerates your skin cell turnover so makes your skin more glowy youthful um sort of that's dead skin free this is just like my gold like this is gold I always always use this every time I have bad skin days but these days I'm doing fine so I'm not using this because using this every day could irritate your skin and uh, make you know your skin really tight and dry and itchy and like almost like tingling in a unpleasant way so use this like maybe twice a week and then you know eventually your skin will just have like a resurrection I would say so so good and also they have this in day cream I used to use that and your makeup goes on so well I love that this is like my fifth tube so I swear by this definitely check this out there's nothing better than this or troubled skin in my opinion so this is nighttime skincare option number one and then I just top it up with some oil and that is number one and what I'm using lately is the Ordinary's Niacinamide 2%, 10% and Zinc 1%. I use this after the toner. This stuff is just like a um, skin whitener. When I wake up in the morning after I use this, it's just my skin just feels so good. It looks glowy, firm, and bright. Very, very bright. It just looks so bright that sometimes my, my foundation even feels darker. So, I don't know what it is. You guys probably heard a lot about this. A lot of people rave about it. I'm one of them. So good. And I use this. And then I use their... Um, oops. And, I, and then I use their Buffet Serum. Because I don't really have anything that's... Um, anti-aging this one has like a bunch of peptides and stuff I'm not a skincare expert so I don't really know but I feel like when I use these guys together it conditions my lashes and they grow yeah they my eyelashes grow and my skin feels good and um, I just my skin just never really feels dry especially around the eye area let me bring you guys a little bit closer so you guys can see what my eye area look like even when I smile yes and I don't really have any wrinkle whatsoever I felt like before I used this one my eye area was sort of dry and there was some fine lines but now they're gone I don't know so I don't know if it's just one of these or in conjunction of everything. And then I top it up with three drops of the rosehip oil. So good. And then we shouldn't neglect our lips when it comes to skincare. I have this amazing item called Lucas Papo Ointment. This is an Australian brand, I believe, and this has fermented papaya in it. And I put a thick coat of this on my lips before bed or even when I'm doing my makeup because sometimes my lips are so chapped and dry in the morning and I just put a thick coat and then within a minute or two you can start feeling your dead skin being lifted because this one cleanses so and moisturizes so it's gonna leave your lips completely chapped free and then give you a very supple plump nice bouncy lips so yeah definitely check this out I love this. This will last forever. You can use this on anywhere that is chapped, bruised, or cut. So, yes. Oh, and the last item here that I have is this Advanced Retinoid 2%. I really don't know how I feel about this because it's supposed to be revolutionary. It didn't really hurt my face or anything, but every time I use this the next morning, I wake up with one or one or two tiny little pimples and crazy flakiness around my nose and this area. It just and I break out for like next three days. I don't know what it is. Every time I use this, that happened. Like dry skin and kind of itchy tights, and then I stop using it and it goes away. So. It's supposed to be revolutionary. Maybe my skin's not ready for anti-wrinkle or like more peel. Because when I use this, I don't use anything that could possibly chemically exploit my skin because I know how powerful this is. But do you see the little mark here? That one, this one gave me that little pimple there. 
So I have a weird relationship with this. I really want to try more. They say it takes about two to three one to two months to get used to it but I don't know it was supposed to have like no side effects of retinoid so I don't know so yeah all right that is it everyone thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time oh and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below all right bye